This is the story of two men who dreamed up a super idea and then saw others race away with it faster than a speeding bullet. Sam Chu Lin reports. Two men, one in New York, Joe Schuster, an artist who's almost blind, living in near poverty, unable to make a living even though his creation has made millions for others. 3,000 miles away in Los Angeles, Jerry Siegel, once of international fame, now reduced to supporting a wife and daughter on a $7,000 a year job as a mail clerk. For nearly 30 years, both have been trying to find someone to come to their rescue. This is the job for Superman. It was the middle of the Depression. Siegel and Schuster, just out of high school, approached a New York comic book publishing house with the idea for a red-caped superhero from the planet Krypton, who would be... Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. The price for their work, $135, with all rights turned over to the publisher. For nine years, Siegel and Schuster made a living writing and drawing Superman, while their creation became a star on radio, television movies, and product endorsements. In 1947, Siegel and Schuster began a long line of court suits, hoping to win royalties and their names back on the comics. They lost their case and their jobs, but they never gave up the fight. We felt at one time and during these long years that it was uh, our American dream and our American dream then became, uh, became an American tragedy. Finally, after nationwide publicity, the new owners of Superman, Warner Communications, bowed to public pressure. The final agreement was signed today. Siegel and Schuster, both 61, will each receive an annual $20,000 pension, full medical care and provisions for relatives, their byline restored. A victory for truth, justice, and the American way. Sam Chulin, CBS News, New York. And that's the way it is.